it's another beautiful day at Port Martin. Well, to be honest, I'm only wishing that I'm there, since I've been stuck in the city since the pandemic started. This is the longest I've been away, and for now, I'm only living through my old photos and videos. I mentioned that one of the main reasons why I fell in love with Port Barton is because of the good food all over. Today, I wanted to share with you all my favorite restaurants and drinking places here. So here we go! Before anything, I wanted to let you guys know that the places I'll be sharing have really been my favorites. None of these meals even came for free. <laughs> so rest assured, these are completely unbiased. Let's get started with brunch. Starting off with perhaps the newest place in Port Barton is Bikini Cafe. They serve freshly baked bread, lattes, and world-class brunch. In my opinion, these guys are so good, they would thrive even if they opened in Manila. With interiors that modernize its native style with an industrial finish, this place has quickly become my favorite. Milano Cafe serves authentic espresso as a place is owned by Italians. It's unfortunate that I failed to get a photo, but take my word, this is also a must try. Another on my brunch list is Mabuti Eat and Chill. Now this is the first of a handful of vegan and vegetarian restaurants available in Port Martin. I personally like having these when I'm looking to take a break from my usual calorie heavy meals. And I sometimes want to feel healthy I guess. No hurt in trying right? Mabuti Eat and Chill also serve meals throughout the day as all of the restaurants I'm mentioning in this video do. But I'm letting you guys know at which time of day they usually serve their best. Last on this brunch list would be Besaga. I have to admit, it was at Besaga where I stayed on my first trip to Port Barton. I could not believe how extensive their pancakes list was. <laughs> but beyond pancakes, they do offer an extensive menu of continental and Filipino style breakfasts, as well as a great menu selection for any time of day. A great breakfast with a great view? Definitely top notch. After a heavy breakfast, it's usually nice to lounge around the beachfront of Deep Moon Resort. They serve a selection of smoothie bowls and shakes, so it's nice to relax here after a heavy meal. With that heavy breakfast, maybe we can take a late light lunch. What do you think? Gorgonzola is probably the most popular restaurant in Port Barton. This is a pizza and pasta joint, but entirely vegetarian. I didn't think that vegetarian could taste as good. Your pizzas are huge, but since I'm usually flying solo, this pizza slice or calzone will do. Keeping to vegetarian and vegan options, there's also Imax, where they cover a wide variety of cuisines including Mexican, Italian, and Thai amongst others. For affordable eats, there's Kakayan with an extensive selection of rice meals and ABCD convenience store with their 40 peso burger. If you're wanting to stay beachfront for lunch, one of my favorite spots is Barton Bay Cafe, where they serve an excellent tuna ceviche, which goes perfectly with beer. Another beachfront staple is Jambalaya Cajun Cafe, where they specialize in, yep, Cajun dishes. One of the best things about Port Barton is happy hour. The going rate for beer is about 50 pesos and that's probably the best value you can get anywhere. Once happy hour hits, I like to make my way up to the more northern parts of the beachfront. The beachfront faces slightly tilting southwest so there are better views of sunset as you go further up. Santa Cruz happy hour comes with a free coke with rum for your first order and even a serving of peanuts. I think you can't beat that at 50 pesos. Another one of my favorite happy hour spots is Beach Barn by Summer Homes. They've got a wide beach frontage and golden views of sunset as well. Sometimes I get hungry amidst all this drinking. <laughs> Here they serve Thai inspired dishes such as chicken with basil as well as a list of different curry dishes. This is a must. 
The best views of sunset and happy hour are however at the northernmost point of the beachfront at El Dorado Sunset Cottages. After a good happy hour, you're gonna need a heavy dinner. For the best calamari in the Philippines, head on over to Big Mama. Coming from Spain, the owners serve Spanish-inspired and Mexican dishes. For a mix of local and international cuisine, head on over to Olive's Crib at Balestero Street beside ABCD Convenience Store. For good old American cuisine and honestly one of the better burgers in the country, try Reef Cafe. And for something quiet in the most elegant restaurant in Port Barton, there's Mojito's Resto Bar. And for Unite Owls, there are just a handful of spots that you would want to hit. There's a beachfront bar Tres Tequilas, the reggae bar Native Bowl where you'd realize that Port Barton has an amazing reggae scene for local artists. And the backpacker favorite, Coco Rico Hostel, where parties can usually start as early as 7 p.m. And as a bonus, if you come to Port Barton on a full moon, El Dorado Sunset Cottages throws a full moon party where all the bars come together. Hey everyone, thanks again for watching. To be honest, there are still so many restaurants in Port Barton that I haven't tried, and I hope to be able to update this list soon. I can't wait until everything is back up and running again. Hopefully that's soon enough when we can all go back to travel, and everything is safe again. Just a reminder that all these footages were taken before March 2020 and a lot of the footages I've included here are what I've collected throughout the years. So if there are any restaurants that struck your curiosity, I'm gonna be including the Facebook pages of each restaurant below so that you can keep posted on when they'll be opening again. I know that Port Barton may be new to you guys, so if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section so that I can answer your questions and maybe I can even do a video on your questions in the near future. I really hope that I could share more about Port Barton, so let me know what you're curious about. If you've liked this Port Barton food guide, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification, and like this video. We'll see you soon at Port Barton.